In today's video, let's see the regulation for storage of survival craft. The information in this video is sourced from SOLAS, Chapter 3 Life Saving Appliances and Arrangements, Part B, Requirements for Ships and Life Saving Appliances, Section I Passenger Ships and Cargo Ships, Regulation 13 Storage of Survival Craft. Generally for ships constructed from 1st of July 1998, may also apply for existing ships constructed before 1st of July 1998. Each survival craft shall be stowed, so that neither the survival craft nor its stowage arrangements will interfere with the operation of any other survival craft or rescue boat at any other launching station. As near the water surface as is safe and practicable in the embarkation position for a survival craft intended for throw overboard launching. This means not less than 2 meters above the waterline with a ship in the fully loaded condition under unfavorable conditions of trim of up to 10 degrees and listed up to 20 degrees either way. In a state of continuous readiness so that two crew members can carry out preparations for embarkation and launching in less than 5 minutes fully equipped as required by this chapter and the code. As far as practicable, in a secure and sheltered position and protected from damage by fire and explosion, in particular, survival craft on tankers, other than the life rafts required by Regulation 31.1.4, shall not be stowed on or above a cargo tank, slop tank, or other tank containing explosive or hazardous cargoes. Lifeboats for lowering down the ship's side shall be stowed as far forward of the propeller as practicable, on cargo ships of 80 meters in length and upwards but less than 120 meters in length. Each lifeboat shall be so stowed that the after end of the lifeboat is not less than the length of the lifeboat forward of the propeller. On cargo ships of 120 meters in length and upwards and passenger ships of 80 meters in length and upwards. Each lifeboat shall be so stowed that the after end of the lifeboat is not less than 1.5 times the length of the lifeboat forward of the propeller. Where appropriate, the ship shall be so arranged that lifeboats, in their stowed positions, are protected from damage by heavy seas. Lifeboats shall be stowed attached to launching appliances. Every life raft shall be stowed with its painter permanently attached to the ship. Each life raft or group of life rafts shall be stowed with a float-free arrangement complying with the requirements of paragraph 4.1.6 of the code so that each floats free and, if inflatable, inflates automatically when the ship sinks. Life rafts shall be so stowed as to permit manual release of one raft or container at a time from their securing arrangements. Paragraphs 4.1 and 4.2 do not apply to life rafts required by Regulation 31.1.4. Davit launched life rafts shall be stowed within reach of the lifting hooks, unless some means of transfer is provided which is not rendered inoperable within the limits of trim and list prescribed in paragraph 1.2 or by ship motion or power failure. Life rafts intended for throw overboard launching shall be so stowed as to be readily transferable for launching on either side of the ship unless life rafts of the aggregate capacity required by regulation 31.1 to be capable of being launched on either side are stowed on each side of the ship. Thanks for watching. Oh, you like this video? Please share with your friends, and subscribe to Marinora for more such videos. If you have any queries or comments, drop it in comment box.